What's going on? How's it going? So, it was about this point, like 10 years ago. And somehow or the other, I heard about Outward Bound, right? You see the shirt? Outward Bound. And you may be wondering why I would wear this shirt on this live. It's kind of gray, it's kind of ugly, it's kind of black, but I'll tell you what this shirt is. This shirt is a reminder. It's a reminder of what it's like being on the mountain. See, when I first started up the mountain, I didn't think I needed help. I thought I was good. I had exercised, I had done all the stuff I thought I needed to do. I was fit. And as soon as we got on the, you know, got to the, to the place and we put all of our, our gear together and got all our food, got all our pots and pans, got everything we're going to need to go up the mountain, separated between seven people. We're carrying it all on our backs up the mountain. And I remember when I first started, I was like, yep, I'm good. And we start walking. And it wasn't long before we started walking up. Gently at first. I was like, oh, I'm good. I got this. I'm good. And then slowly but surely, going up, going up the mountain. And soon... We had reached a point where I wasn't sure that I could take any more steps up the mountain. I thought that there was nothing else in me. I got this 70 pounds of gear on my back and I'm positive that right there on the mountain, I'm gonna quit. And then I look up and I see our coach, our guide, and he's like a mountain goat. He never stops. He's not even breathing hard. I'm like, one more step. One more step. Up and up and up. 9,000, 10,000 feet. Over the course of three days. And we just keep going up that mountain. And that pack gets heavier and heavier. And there's so many days and so many times where I'm like, I don't think I have it. I don't think I can do this anymore. But I look at that coach and I think, one more step. One more step. And we keep going up. And by the end of the five days, I know that I have what it takes to get up that mountain. So I wear this shirt with pride, with honor, this ugly little gray black shirt. And why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this because I want to help you get up your mountain. I want to tell you, especially if you're a man, that it's okay to seek help, to have help. Whether you're talking about the mountain of depression, which nearly killed me five years ago, anxiety, panic attacks, substance abuse, whatever it is, it is okay to reach out for help if you need it. I have a friend, she says to have a circle of three just a, a circle of three people. And newsflash, it may not be your parents. Your parents may not be there for you for certain things. When it comes to depression, things like that, they may not be part of your three. That doesn't mean that you don't seek your three. Even if your three is like a you know crisis hotline, important thing is to reach out for help, right? And if you're a, 
entrepreneur, you're a, you're a business owner, you're looking to start that side hustle, whatever it is, again, you need a coach. You need someone who can help you, show you, move you forward, a sounding board. So that's why I'm telling you this story. That's why I'm bringing you the story of, of Outward Bound. Is We as men, we just, we think that we're going to do it all by ourselves, no matter what. We don't need any help. We're good. But we do need help. Every success story that you've ever heard of, all of them, they have not one coach, but maybe even two or three. Because they realize that they can't do it alone. They shouldn't do it alone. So even if you don't choose me and Radically Unstuck Consulting, right? Choose someone. I have a friend. He's a fantastic fit coach. Michael Mello. Fit and mellow, that's, that's his gig. Amazing coach. Fan, I mean, he's got the credentials. He's a good guy. He's smart. But what you see if you're a coach is that people just don't reach out. They don't reach out. They want to do everything themselves. And that's the worst way to go. Waste time, waste energy. So, whether you choose me, Radically Unstuck Consulting, or choose someone else, you owe it to yourself, to your success, to have somebody who, who is on your team, who's helping you get up the mountain. Namaste.